The top five Kohai anime characters. In Japanese culture, there's a huge emphasis and respect and high archery in business, school, and family life in general. A lot of Japanophiles and fans of Japanese animation would be familiar with these aspects of the culture, especially the idea of a senpai or slightly older mentor. The senpai's counterpart, the Kohai, sometimes spelled Kohai, is says, well, no, the Kohai is usually a beginner of some sort, whether with boards, school, or elsewhere. While well, their first senpai has to sky, teach, and protect them. They own their senpai respect and references. The senpai kohai relationship shows up plenty in anime, which is how most westerners know it. In the context of a show, there's often some kind of romantic tension or rivalry involved. It's a relationship with potential drama and warm and fuzzy feelings, so it's no surprise that such a popular setup. With a fourth ado, here are our picks for the top 5 kohai anime characters and the anime to star in. Haru Fujioka from Ora High School Host Club. Our High School Host Club is a classic sojo, unlike the other entries in this list, a comedy. It follows Haruhi Fujioka, a first year at the wealthy Oran Academy, and she is employed as a host at the school's host club, a converted music room where the school's feeble students can come. A converted music room where the school's feeble students can come to share a cup of tea and a conversation with the good boy. Fujioka isn't, in effect, a boy but doesn't take much gender roles, and the other hosts teach her how to act a part, in time. She learns to play it well enough to charge a client though. Fujiyoko's situation is the host club, it's not a simple thing of a single kohai being looked after a large number of senpai. In her case though, there's room for romantic sessions with the other hosts, and the added drama of keeping her secret for the class visitors. Her delicate conversation of her with the plant at the Jokoria plenty of hijinks. Asashi Nakajima from Bungo Stray Dogs. Some of our favorite Kohai Senpai relationships to watch are the ones where the characters benefit from each other's company the most. There can be struggles and trouble along the way. There are suckers for happy endings and the power of friendship, even in the darkest of circumstances. That's why we love Asushi's relationship with the Senpai Ozobo Dazai. Even during the first meeting, when Asushi doesn't understand his powers at all, Dazai he sees his potential decides to take it under his swing. He will remain for the rest of the series. Asushi has a very rough childhood and is sincerely him some additional instability. Mysterious as Dasai is, his help talk Asushi during his breakdowns during the show, and, the re and it's the reason that Asushi makes it during the troubles at all. Asushi, for this part, trusts Dasai despite his unconditional teasing to make a good team. It's called Midoriya from My Hero Academia. At the beginning of the show and for the first couple seasons, Midoriya's mentor figures is All Might, number one hero, and much more of a master than a senpai. The relationship is good enough to serve its own place on a different list. Later on, Tong, He's befriended by one of the other young prospects that all might are considered to make into his successor, Mirio Togata. Togata is Midoriya senior and an upperclassman at the school for heroes at both attend. When Midoriya starts his hero partnership with Sir Night Eye, All Might's old sidekick, he works alongside Togata and learns from him. The relationship reaches its dramatic peak after Night Eye's agency gets involved in a conspiracy surrounding a little girl who's being held a prisoner by a villain. When it comes to a head, both Midori and Togata have pushed themselves to the limit to save her, and things go go well. It, it'll get you curious, then go watch it for yourself. If you say any more, we'll give it away. Shoya Hinata from Haikyuu. Unlike some of the other characters in this, Shoya doesn't have one senpai in particular. At the start of the series, when he joins a high school volleyball team with the hopes of becoming his ace, he's a kohei to everyone else on the team except maybe his rival Kageyama, who is a new recruit as well. Shoya's relationships with the rest of the team don't carry much of the same tensions that we might find in dramas, we want Kohai devoted to one senpai, but it does give us an opportunity to see how the others of the team help him and Kakuyama grow as players and his people, and they're able to work together to bring the team to victory. If you want to see how the team solid senpais, you can have the product improve. Haku is your show. Mira Kuriyama from Beyond the Boundary, Kyok and Kanata, which translates to Beyond the Boundary, is a transfer. It's a fantasy show that follows a high school literary club composed of supernatural beings to avoid giving away too much of the plot. Sophie's is to say that the show fantasy elements allows the relationship between Mirai and her senpai Akihita Kanbara takes some interesting twists and turns. The relationship starts a combative to say, at least with Mirai, exactly trying to kill Kanbara on multiple occasions, but as the show continues, things start to smooth out and she begins to see him as a mentor she can rely. Mirai feels the group of a Kohei character completely. She's awkward and sometimes clumsy and fits the standard image of a cute girl, bearing her being a supernatural warrior. She needs Kanbara's help. She struggles. To support herself, shunned by other supernatural warriors and the last members of her clan, it makes it all the more fun to watch her and Kanbara grow close. Conclusion, we hope your favorite Koi characters made it onto our list. There are too many of them, mention all of them, so it's up to you to spread the word 
about your favorites. We hope you enjoyed the list. If you hope you check out many other, any other shows, the sound interesting. Thanks for reading.